Hey Aries, this is your monthly reading for March, and so things are definitely moving for you this month. Um, where things have been stagnant or coming up um, for you, it does feel like a lot of this this month is going to be an internal change. Like things are moving. Um, right now, you're you're kind of stuck in this place of um, just not allowing the movement that you're you're trapped in your own thoughts, you're trapped in your own hurts, you're trapped in your own traumas. And you know, this Mercury retrograde has really affected um, everyone. And you know, the fire signs have really been put through it. So you know, as this month moves on, it does feel like you are going to feel like the um, family and the people in your life. Um, it's about looking forward. It's about not getting, staying in this space of things aren't changing, things aren't moving, um, because life is a continuing journey and that's what I'm seeing they're showing me like a river like flowing so things are moving even though you aren't feeling it you're feeling like things are stagnant and things aren't uh, the, the, the hurt is too overwhelming and you can't handle it um, but it, it is about things coming together for you but it does uh, so in the middle of the month in the middle of the month um, I did get for you the disruption and I did get you the transformation. So these um, internal fears that you're going through, um, it does feel like you're th making things to be worse than they are, that things are changing, new beginnings, endings, like it's all coming, but it's not like this month, it's gonna be like, uh, unexpected like this has been kind of the way things have been flowing and now it's to the point where maybe you have to make a decision but things are definitely coming down and things are being reborn okay so it, there's no more standing in the shadows here because this is the divine time that things are happening so I wanted to clarify that a little bit and so it does feel like things are moving forward. So I got the Knight of Swords. So things are gonna start moving forward swiftly. But again, these are your emotions. This is this is an internal shift. So things you've been kind of holding on to, and I don't wanna let go, I don't wanna let go, I don't wanna let go. You have to, because the Five of Pentacles is saying things can't come in here with this attitude of things aren't changing or can't change. Um, so this month, things are moving. Things are shifting inside of you. Um, yeah, the chariot, things are moving forward. Things are moving forward and in a way that is gonna bring you the justice. It's going to bring you the fairness and the balance um, that you've been craving. So it really does feel like things are moving forward there was a lot there. Things are moving forward for you, Aries, but it is gonna be important um, to not hold on to the old um, ways of thinking and doing. The, um, it feels like you're going through a paradigm shift. Like there are big things in your life that are changing and you can't stop it. Um, it you, you've been wanting to, you've been trying to, but you can't, um, that things are transforming. There is endings and new beginnings. It really does feel like relationship wise. It really does feel like people in your life coming and going, shifting in a way that's gonna be different. Doesn't mean it's gonna be bad, but with the justice card here, it does make me feel like um, it's, it's what you need. It's what you need, it's what you, um, what needs to happen, okay? Yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> to help you through this shift internally is let go of the ego, let go of ego. So um, this is a great card to kind of let you know that this really is an internal shift. Um, when we're holding on to the egoic thoughts, 
um, you know, we're trying to hold things back, we're trying to control things, we're trying to will things to be in our life in a certain way. And that's what I'm hearing for you, that this isn't what's going, this isn't what's going to happen. So you have to let go of the fear um, and the internal struggle that you're going through right now because you do have um, endings and new beginnings. And so March is definitely gonna be um, a big internal um, change, um, paradigm shift for you is what I'm hearing. So things are definitely moving in a direction, um, you know, so I think it is gonna be important for you to get on board, but, you know, do the inside work, surrendering to the process, allowing things to unfold, and really um, letting go of the, the control, the grip that you've been trying to steer things with. It's like, you're so the, the the metaphor I just got was like you're like a dog with a bone and you've been holding on and holding on and holding on and now it's time to say I gotta let it go I gotta let go of that thought I gotta let go of that hurt I gotta let go of that trauma it's time to let it go because it's holding me back and I don't want to be held it back anymore all right so those are beautiful cards um, and yeah it does feel like a big uh, shift and it's a good thing at the end of the day, um, but it is gonna take a little bit for you to be okay with it. So as you're going through this, uh, fluorite can help and it's natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out, so yes. Yes, you are lovable inside and out. So as you're going through this, Things are shifting, people are shifting in your life. Just know that what's being taken away is um, what is going to be replaced with better, with new. And as uncomfortable as that is, and as much as there may be parts of um, the paradigm shift that you want to hold on to, it just feels like things can't stay the same and they're not going to. And so for this month, it is going to be that internal, um, just ripping off the bandage and letting go of the things um, that can't go forward with you. And so this month could be uncomfortable, um, but it does feel like um, mid-month is when a lot of that's going to happen. So like right at the end of the Mercury retrograde. Um, so hold on, you're getting there. Um, and it's just allowing the good stuff to flow in and I think you need that. I think that there's been a lot of um, old that's been holding you back. It's been like the wall in front of you and now that wall has gotta be broken so that the new can get in. And I see that happening for you beginning this month. So. Guys, have a beautiful rest of your uh, March, and thank you for joining me, and please um, subscribe and share. I would completely appreciate that. All right, thank you, and we'll talk to you next month.